Hey everybody, Douglas here from RevRides and today we're going to show you how to change the tire and tube on your Kingsong 18XL. Let's get to it. To change the tire on your 18XL, you will need a small flathead and if you've never removed them before, you may need one even smaller. You may also need some zip ties to replace any that we cut off along the way. Loctite is a necessity to put on your screws when tightening them back in to be sure they do not come loose while right. You will need a pair of clippers to clip any zip ties that you may have. Be sure to have some tire irons to be able to replace your new tire. You'll need a large and a small Phillips head screwdriver to be able to remove the side panels on your 18XL and remove the pedal hangers on your 18XL. You will need a hammer and a tap tool to get the pin out of your pedals. You will also need a five millimeter hex key to be able to remove the set screws in your pedals. First tools you'll need is your five millimeter hex key to remove the set screws on your pedals and your hammer and tap tool to remove the pedal rod when you're done. Also be sure you have the parts that you need to complete the job like a tube and a tire. Just a reminder, be sure to have some sort of dish or cup to keep all of your screws in one place. Now let's remove the grub screw with our five millimeter hex key. Now using our tap tool, let's tap out the pedal rod. Now the pedal's removed. Now let's flip the wheel over and do the same on the other side. First removing our grub screw from the pedal. Now tapping out the pedal rod. Now both of our pedals are removed, let's get started on the side panels. If you've never taken your light covers off before, you may need a smaller flathead to get a little wedge started. At some points when the plastic is bending, it may seem like you're gonna break the plastic. Just be sure that your hand is moving along with it as it pops up and you shouldn't have any breakage. Now, let's unplug our light and set the light strip aside. Now let's do the same to the other light strip. Now we can remove the screws on our side panel. There will be five under each LED strip, three at the top, normally covered by some padding, and two on the bottom here, also covered by some padding. Now that all your screws are removed, let's go ahead and remove the side panel. Grab your snips and large screwdriver to be able to remove the pedal hanger screws and the motor wire. Then clip the zip tie holding your motor wire together. Now go ahead and unplug your motor wire. Slide it out. Next, we're going to remove our pedal hanger screws. Be sure to always loosen and tighten your screws in a star formation to be sure not to crack any plastics. Also, don't lose these little washers. They can be hard to find and replace. Go ahead and flip our wheel back over and remove the LED strips on the other side and the side panel. Now let's remove all of our screws on this side, the five under each LED panel and the three up top, which are normally under a piece of foam. 
and our two on bottom that are also covered under a piece of foam. Now all of our screws are loose and removed. Let's remove the side panel. Now let's remove this foam piece and unplug your hall sensor. Next, remove your pedal hanger screws. Again, be sure to do this in a star formation to be sure not to crack any plastic. Now let's turn the wheel right side up and remove the motor. Be sure when pulling the case off that you don't rip any of your wires on the case. Go very slow. You can also wedge the case apart from the pedal hanger. This is to not pinch the wire as you slide it off. Pull this wire out. Be sure you're keeping an eye on the other side for the motor wire as well. You'll need to slide that out just the same. Now set the case to the side. Now we can change our tire and tube. First, deflate your tire if it's not already deflated. If you had previously put tire sealant into your tube, to be able to get the air out, you may have to remove the valve stem. Next, we're gonna grab the tire irons to remove our tire. If you're just replacing the tube, you only need to take off the top half of the tire and then replace your tube. If you're replacing the tire and tube, you will want to take off the first half of the tire, then take your tube out, then take the rest of the tire off and put everything else back on. Once our tire is about halfway off, you can usually pull it off the rest of the way by hand. Now remove the tube, pushing the valve out. If your tube is still good, be careful pulling it out as you don't want to create any holes. Now to pull the tire off can usually be done by hand. Now we need our tire and tube to finish the job. Be sure you line the motor up with your shell to be sure your orientation is correct. With the hull sensor wire lined up with the hull sensor wire. Now we see our rotation is facing forward. We take our tire, make sure the arrow is facing forward. Slide it up to the motor. Keeping this all together, we're gonna lay it down flat. Now we can change our tire. Now that half of our tire is on, 
We can go ahead and slightly inflate the tube to get its shape and slide it into place. Once you've found the hole for your inner tube valve, you will want to then slide the inner tube into the tire, then pushing your valve through the hole. Now we can use our tire irons to slide the tire back over the rim. Now that our tire is on, let's try to line up the bead evenly across best we can, and then inflate the tube, and be sure that that line is even all the way around. Each tire will say on the side of it what PSI to pump it up to. Each tire will be different. This one, we want to be at 35 to 45 PSI. Now we're gonna grab our shell, sliding it over the top. This is easier done with two people. While here, you're gonna take your wires and slide them back in. Same on the other side. And then to not damage the wires, keeping them nice and straight, use this channel on either side to slide the wire through. And also pull your shell slightly apart to be able to slide it down easily. Now our shell is on top of the motor. Let's go ahead and lay it on its side, get our plugs back in, and our pedal hanger screws tightened back on. Now slide your wires back through their covers. And plug them back in. You can also now throw our foam piece back in here. Be sure when tightening down your pedal hanger screws to go in a star formation to not crack any plastics. First hand tightening them and then tightening them down snugly. Now that they're hand tightened, go ahead and tighten them down snugly. Now on our motor wire side, you want to get the wire back under its cover and slide it back into place. And plug it back in. Again, I'm going to add Loctite to the pedal hanger mount as it's a lot easier and cleaner to deal with. Now that we got our motor and shell all back together, let's pop our side panels back on. First, be sure to grab your light wires here and push them through the side panel so we can plug back in our light panels. Now let's go ahead and tighten down all of our screws and then we'll pop in our light panels last. The order in which you put the screws back on the wheel does not matter. Just be careful not to over tighten because you could crack the plastic. Okay. 
Now that all of our screws are tightened on the side panel, let's go ahead and pop in our LED strips and put back on our foam piece. Now you're ready to pop your pedal back on this side. When putting the pedals back on your 18XL, it doesn't matter which side goes on which, but you can tell the difference based on the amount of scraping on each pedal. Where the scraping is, is usually the front of the pedal. When putting the pedal on, you will wanna try and put the rod through the pedal first to determine which way it goes through the pedal. There's a rounded edge, and then there's a flat edge. You're only going to be putting the grub screw up against the flat edge. When pushing the rod back into your pedal, keep going until you can't move the rod anymore because it has to butt up against the end of the pedal. Now, before adding our grub screw, we're going to add some Loctite onto it to be sure it doesn't vibrate loose. Now that we're done putting this side together, let's flip it over and do the same on the other side. Put in your side panel on. Again, be sure the light wires are pushed through the top of the side panel first. Same on the other side. Now let's tighten down all of our screws. Now all of our screws are tightened on the side panel. Let's throw our foam piece and the light covers back on. Finally, let's throw the last pedal back onto the wheel. Before putting your grub screw back in, be sure to add some Loctite. So that way it doesn't vibrate loose when riding. Oh yeah, and lastly, don't forget your inner tube valve cover. Now you know how to change the tire and tube on your Kingsong 18XL. Be sure to like and subscribe for more repair and riding videos and come ride with us.